Before now, if you try to route your Realme X to running Realme UI, your fingerprint will stop working. But thanks to a new update, you can now use your fingerprint on Realme UI with root and unlocked bootloader without any problem. Let me show you how to safely do it. Welcome back to Smart Depot today again. If you like this video or just want to encourage our channel, please click on that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell icon so you receive notification when we do a new video like this. The Realme UI is wonderful, it's a little bit some improvement over ColorOS and it comes with its own problem. But once you root it, the fingerprint function will stop working and that is very, very a big deal breaker for a lot of people. But all that have changed after the latest update, so you can now use your fingerprint and root and Remy UI. I'm going to give you the prerequisite the things you're going to need. I'm going to put them in the description, even with the commands that you need. So make sure you check out the description. And also remember to turn up uh, USB debugging and allow always allow from the system if it is your own system. So that's important. But the most important thing we're going to do here is you're going to go to your setting and you're going to go and turn on OEM unlock. So if you have a locked bootloader uh, this is for you if you if you already have an unlocked bootloader um you will join from the next step so once you turn on the oem uh, uh, bootloader then you go to in-depth testing app and then you're going to apply it's easy you just click on start applying and it takes a, a few minutes and then after that your query will be in so when you come back and you see that it is successful your application is successful once you come back there you see it start applying you hit the start applying it to take you to fast boot mode type fast boot devices and then type fast boot flashing unlock to unlock your bootloader after accepting the prompt and once you're done that you've unlocked your bootloader if you have an unlocked bootloader, you will start from here. Just reboot into fast boot mode by pressing the power and the volume button up. Uh, volume down, I mean, so it will take you to that mode. So once you're in that mode, connect to your PC after you've installed some of the things we've said in the description. So you're going to write two code, very simple one. First is for VB Meta. You're going to write it. I'll put the link in the description for all that. And normally I do drag and drop. And once you've done it, you hit enter. Make sure you are seeing fast boot devices. When you type the fast boot devices, make sure you're seeing your device um, serial number or partial serial number there. Uh, so after flashing that, you type the command for recovery, custom recovery. I use TWRP. So once you flash the two, they are critical. So you flash VB Meta, you flash TWRP recovery. I normally do my drag and drop and after typing the command, so I drag it and drop it there and I hit enter. As you can see, it's writing the new recovery and it's done, it's finished. Okay, there's no warning. So once you're done right now, you're gonna go to your phone now and reboot into recovery. So this is very, very important. Do not start the phone. If you do, you have to start all over again. So with the volume button, so this is the TWRP recovery and we are ready to root our phone. So the magic zip is in the description. You go to uh, install and then select it and then you flash. So once you flash that, so that is root and you reboot your phone. See, as you can see right now, so the phone has been rebooted and there is magic working in it. And you see it now, there's the root. You can install a lot of modules, a lot of things. And with that, a fingerprint is still working. So um, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Subscribe. I'll see you.